Okay. So I'm going to try to make this into a little clip. Because I feel like this is information people need to know. Okay, so with StreamerBot, um, with OBS 28, uh, they updated WebSocket to 5.0. So any external apps that communicate with OBS that use WebSocket also have to be updated. Uh, when you update StreamerBot, it's not going to update this setting that you need changed. So when you get the new StreamerBot, you do the update. When you connect, it's going to ask you, you know, to do your usual um, reconnecting to your platforms. It'll ask you to do that. Once you get those back in, you'll notice that you're not connecting to OBS anymore. Well, the problem is, is you have to go over to your, um, your stream apps tab. This is how you, you're telling StreamerBot to connect to OBS and which profile on OBS, right? So when you add, by default, it does 4.9 on the version of WebSocket. You need to change this to 5.0. And then make sure you also update the port number. Um, they changed it to 4455 for 5.0. If you don't change it or if you don't update it, you got to make sure you change it to this manually. And you have to make sure that it coordinates with your OBS. So you have to make sure you go into, like, I'll show you that too. You got to go into your OBS WebSocket settings and you got to do the same thing. And you got to make sure that the, the, it doesn't have a password unless you want to, you make sure these settings are good. And you make sure it's on the port number you want. You gotta make sure you update that both in StreamerBot and OBS to make sure they coordinate. And if you do that, you'll get the nice new connection status. Mostly, what you'll most people what they'll what they'll have to do is they'll just have to edit it. They could just like edit this, and I can't change it right now because I'm streaming. But you can just click this and change the version from there, and then you know. You're done. That's it. But that's how you can update your streamer bot and your OBS to work on the new WebSocket. Yeah. So the stream apps tab, check your connection to your OBS. You can edit it and change the version to 5.0. And then you make sure those coordinate. That's it. It's not so bad. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure that one out, but I think that's useful information. If you like this video, click subscribe and I'll catch you next time.